today is uh, sep Sunday, September the 9th, and you can see I'm cutting a fence line through the bush here, and uh, it's all thick bush. The cattle haven't been in here yet. This is one section of the property they've never been in. So I'm running a fence line up here. I run the, as you've seen in an earlier video this summer, I run the fence line along all the way down the road to my corner stake. And I'm going all the way up there to, I don't know if you can see that blue insulator up there. Let's see if I can zoom in here. See that blue inflator on the tree up there? That's that's where my fence stops right there, and I cut across the property back towards the house. I have about uh, 200 feet, 250 feet to go out of 1,800. And uh, when I get up there, I'll show you how cleared out the bush is compared to this. I'm pulling the wire behind me as I go. It's getting harder and harder to pull. So I have a stick on here to pull it. Where am I here? Yeah, right here. Because when you get a quarter mile of wire out, you can see the wire going all the way down there. When you get a quarter mile of wire out, it's pretty tough pulling, even in a straight line through the insulators there. See the insulator there? So I'll show you when I get up to the corner there how cleared out the bushes. You've probably seen in other videos. So there's the fence line I just came up from. And I'm here now at the blue insulator. And you can see how wide open clear it's and cleared here by the cows. There's the wire that heads back towards the barn. And you can see the thick bush over here. Where they're going to be able to go now compared to that. And then the wire runs straight down to the very back of my property that way. You see how nice and cleared out that is? until you get to this wire and you cross over and you'll have all that feed yet for this fall okay guys well it's monday september the 9th 7 30 in the morning and it's 36 degrees out we had our first heavy frost this morning i was out here at four, five o'clock and everything was frozen solid and it's just starting to melt off now um, yeah it's 36 degrees now yeah, it's starting to melt off here already but it was solid ice at 6:30. I couldn't film at that time. It was total darkness. It's very damp feeling this morning. I had to make a fire in the house. It got pretty cold. I picked up a used coil, ignition coil for that saw from the dealer and it don't work. Still no spark. I disconnected the ignition switch thinking maybe the switch was faulty before I even went looking for a coil. You can't buy them anymore. They charged me 40 bucks for that coil. So I haven't been able to go down in the bush and cut up all those standing dry jack pines for firewood. Pigs must be all down in the bush sleeping. So I just thought I'd run that by you. And turn off this LED light here. Oh, 
just damp chili to the bone. Right now it just looks like it rained or something, but that's the frost melting off. That was about, when I came out of here at 7.30, it was 33 degrees. So it came up like two degrees since then. I didn't think it was gonna melt off quite so fast before it got daylight. Otherwise I would have got a flashlight out and videoed it. Okay guys, take her easy and get this uploaded.